Okay, fellow humans, welcome back. It's me, your old pal, Danger Dan. At it again with another episode of Dare Danger Dan. <laughs> so we got some fresh Danger Dares that just came in the mail, okay? Let's see what we got today. We got Julie uh, dared me to draw a dancing fox baking bread while dancing. That sounds like fun. We got Sloan and Chrissy uh, dared me to draw an elephant drum line. Can do. And we got Vela and Kalia wanted me to draw a Disney castle shaped like a cat. That's a tough one, but I'm gonna see what I can do for that one, okay? And we got Kurt Fowl wants to see a secretive squirrel. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait. Let's do this. All right, so I think I'm gonna start off with the secretive squirrel somewhere in this vicinity here. Let's see, a pair of binoculars, a fedora, and a trench coat really add that sneaky, uh, sleuthy kind of uh, secretive squirrel vibe here. There's actually an old 70s cartoon called Secret Squirrel, but uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and draw him today. I'm gonna make my own, my very own secretive squirrel. And I guess the real secret we gotta ask is, hey squirrels, how do you get your tail so fluffy? That's what we all wanna know. So here's a fun factoid about squirrels. Uh, they actually have one of the uh, greatest memories in the animal kingdom. Um, they, they can remember so many different things and they're always hiding uh, acorns and different bits of food for themselves all over the place and they try to do it secretly, all right? And the whole time they're doing it, other squirrels are trying to memorize where that squirrel hid their acorns and they'll go ahead and wait till that squirrel's not looking, go steal their acorns and hide it somewhere else. So actually, all squirrels are secretive so that's a fun little factoid, boys and girls. All right, so what's he gonna be spying on here? Uh, let's see. Well, we're gonna have a fox baking bread and dancing to a drum line of elephants. So I'd say he's probably spying on that, waiting for the right moment to steal some of that freshly baked bread. So we're gonna throw him behind some bushes here. All right, let's make a basket of freshly baked bread. So you can tell it's freshly baked by the, the, the nice little steamy heat lines. And later on in the drawing, we're gonna have a fox baking. So, you know, I think that will help describe that what we have here in this basket is the fresh stuff. I think we're gonna need an oven in here too, because even though we're outside having a little drum circle, you can't really bake bread without an oven, can you? So what do we have next? I think it's, we gotta have ourselves a little dancing fox baking bread. Now, I've never baked bread, but if anyone has any cool recipes uh, that I could teach to my fox friends, that would be great. Send them on in. And if anyone has any really cool dance moves that I can do while I bake that bread recipe, send those in too, okay? <laughs> All right, cool little hippity hoppity dance move here. Put a little wiggle line here, show that we're dancing about. We're dancing to the music. We're dancing to the music of that uh, elephant drum line. All right, so let's start here. I'm gonna start over here in this zone. I feel like this could use a little love over here. <laughs> All right, so, so far so good. Now we're gonna do the toughest part, okay? And that is the Disney castle shaped like a kitty cat. Now, I'm gonna have to kind of rework that idea just a little bit, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? So this one's for you, Bela and Kalia. All right, so here's the part where I fill in some darks for contrast and whatnot. All right, so as you can see, I have the Disney castle with a cat shape inside of it. I don't know if that's exactly what you girls wanted, but I did my best and I hope that's okay. Little texture to add some crustiness to the bread. Yum, yum. I think these uh, elephants are playing playing for their right to earn some of that bread. Well, those elephants look pretty hungry. They all got their eye on the bread, I'll tell you what. Well, stay tuned for more Danger Dares and don't forget to send them on in. I'm Danger Dan and I'll see you next time. 